Arizona now has a near total ban on abortion based on a law that dates back to the Civil War era. And it could have major implications for the presidential election. CBS 2's Dick Brennan here now with more on all of this. Dick. Well, Maurice, the conservative Arizona Supreme Court reimposed a 160-year-old law that was put in place before it was even a state and before women had the right to vote. And now, under the law, abortion providers could face a prison term of two to five years. The Arizona Supreme Court has ruled the state must enforce a near total ban on all abortions, with no exception for rape and incest. The court saying physicians are now on notice that all abortions, except those necessary to save a woman's life, are illegal. The near total Civil War era ban that continues to hang over our heads only serves to create more chaos for women and doctors in our state. The decision does away with the state's current 15-week ban, which anti-abortion activists had challenged in court. The group Susan B. Anthony Pro-Life America in a statement saying, quote, we celebrate this enormous victory for unborn children and their mothers. It's always the best decision to protect life as much as possible. Arizona is now poised to join 17 other states that have imposed near total abortion bans since Roe v. Wade was struck down. New York State obviously supports abortion rights. Why should people in this state be concerned about what goes on in Arizona? The ultimate end goal of their movement, which is to pass a national ban on abortion. And so at that point, it wouldn't matter if you lived in Arizona or a, a New York state, because that is that is their end goal. Arizona's Democratic Attorney General said today, as long as I'm Attorney General, no woman or doctor will be prosecuted under this draconian law in this state. Well, I think that uh, medical providers are going to have to weigh their options and their risk um, with their own uh, legal counsel, quite frankly. Arizona is a pivotal swing state that went for President Biden in 2020. Donald Trump yesterday insisted he is not for a national abortion ban and says it should be up to the states. At the end of the day, this is all about the will of the people. Vice President Harris fired back. To stop bans like this, we need a United States Congress that will restore the protections of Roe v. Wade. Now, the Biden campaign is counting on the abortion issue to help drive Democrats to the polls. Even several top Arizona Republicans came out against this ruling, saying it goes too far. The law is on hold for two weeks while a lower court hears arguments on its constitutionality. Maurice. All right, Dick, thank you.